Hello again guys and welcome back to the channel. Long time no see, I've got to say. One of the longer breaks that I've taken in a little while. I have not made a video in about a week to a week and a half. Apologies for that if you were missing out. So I thought I'd make a bit of a quick one just to sort of get back into it today. This is something I've had sitting in my little box of things to review for actually a couple of months now. Over on Amazon, I saw a deal a little while back for this Aki Studio microphone. Regularly retails for about 15 bucks, which is what it's at right now, but I saw it for 10 bucks and there was a coupon code that took it down to five. So let's go ahead and just open it up, take a look. So you get this little Aki card on the bottom with a 24 month product warranty, user manual, with some specifications there in it. Feel free to stop and take a look at them if you're interested. And sort of a box within a box for the rest of it. So pretty cheap feeling, small plasticky mic stand here. Just a, a really generic tripod stand, which actually has a 5 8 inch mount on it and no tripod mount at all. So Basically, you're gonna be able to use this for a mic and that's about it, but technically you could move this to any other mic stand. You get the microphone itself, an XLR to three and a half millimeter cable, and a little splitter. So microphone and headphones to a three and a half millimeter. And finally, the microphone itself. And I mean, in terms of the build quality, like I said before, I paid five bucks for this thing. So it's, it's not gonna be the absolute best thing in the world. It does have a metal grill on it. The rest of it is kind of plasticky. It's a rubberized plastic. There is a dial here on the front, just goes from low to high and has the Aki branding. It doesn't say anywhere in the manual what that's actually for, but I can only assume because there's no headphone jack or anything, it has to be for controlling the mic level. So we'll try that out in a minute. Then of course you have your XLR port here on the bottom and it should just basically slide into this, put it at whatever direction you want it to face and then change the angle just by moving it, just tilting it like that. And at that point, you've got a microphone. Just use your XLR cable and plug it into your computer, your phone if your phone supports it, or like I'm probably gonna do, either plug it into the camera or into a third party external audio source. I'll probably try it with both of those. And just holding it up and looking at it in the light, you're not gonna be able to see this, but this is a very large capsule, or at least it appears to be. So hopefully that will lead to some at least halfway decent sound. For five bucks, as compared to a lot of other microphones, I can't really complain, 15 bucks, everyday price still. It's a lot cheaper than most other mics you're gonna find on the market. So if it even sounds halfway decent, I will be impressed. Let's give it a shot. And we're back. At this point, I have gone ahead and hooked the microphone directly into my camera using the provided XLR to three and a half millimeter cable. I did a very quick test. I haven't listened to it with headphones or anything just to make sure it was working. I can see the levels on my screen. It, it is actually recording. And I guess we'll just twist it around to see what the polar pattern pickup is. It's supposed to be omnidirectional. So in theory, if I start turning it around like this, we'll see if there's any hand noise. We'll also see if you're able to hear me. Again, looking at the levels, it looks like it's still going appropriately. And hopefully, as I turn it like this, you can continue to hear me. It is about a foot, a little over a foot away from my mouth now. So there you have it. In addition, like I said, it does have this little knob on the front that I can control the volume with. And I can take it all the way down to where you won't be able to hear me. It will probably get pretty loud and it will probably start to peak here pretty shortly. Just looking at it over on the monitor, it's slowly getting higher and higher. I'm just moving my finger along the knob. We've got it almost, there we go. It's all the way up now. This is as loud as it goes. I've got the camera audio set just like I had it set before, so nothing has changed. And I have set it back down just a little bit, so I'm hopefully not clipping or spiking out or anything. And I think at this point, I'll go ahead and I'll listen to what I've done so far. Then I'll switch this out for the microphone that I've been using for the rest of the video. I'll actually put it up overhead so it's out of the frame. Hook it up using the XLR cable that I normally use, a much higher quality cable, and just see how it compares to the much more expensive mic that I normally use. And we're back. I've gone ahead and moved the microphone overhead to where my normal microphone does sit. This is the mic I would normally use, the one that came with my Focusrite Scarlett Studio Pack. Excellent microphone. The Aki one we're using right now, however, not so amazing. I did have a listen to the audio from it. Right now we're actually piping through the Tascam DR60D into my camera and just listening to it live right now even using a different XLR cable. There's so much noise. I'm listening to what's going into the Tascam right now and it's just not a great sound and the mic clip doesn't really want to hold on to this so I'm not going to want to leave it overhead for long. But even bringing it back down handheld and putting it right in front of my mouth like I am, I just listened to it again and it's a lot louder, it's a lot clearer, but there's so much background hum and hiss and interference experience presumably from the microphone itself, because I don't have this kind of noise using the same cable with other microphones. So it has to have something to do with my setup, with the lights, with the Wi-Fi, with whatever else, which is a bit of a bummer, but I have to say not to be completely unexpected. I mean, I paid $5 for this, and realistically,
realistically speaking, if I can get into a clean environment, it would be usable for Skype calls, for just very quick one-off videos. I don't think I would use it for any sort of audio production like music or voiceovers or anything like that, but just playing games online with friends or doing Skype or anything, that would probably be okay. And like I said, it does come with all the hardware and everything you need to hook it directly up to your computer, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and move back to my other mic and wrap things up. And we're back over on my normal mic again. So as to my determination about the Aki, my initial impressions after just using it a little bit here, I'm going to say that it's not amazing. It's not even great. It's not even really good, but the retail price on it is about 15 bucks, 15 to 20. And I was able to get it for a lot less than that. So if you can pick it up for that price, if you just absolutely need a mic, doesn't matter what it is, could be okay. The interference is really the biggest issue with it. The sound quality seemed okay. I'm not going to say it was great because again, it wasn't, but it's not a bad looking little mic. And again, it does put out audio. So if you just need audio between five to 15 bucks, depending on the coupon codes and whenever you can find it and whatnot, it's okay. I'll put a link to where you can find it, but I'm not going to explicitly recommend it because it's just, it's really not that great. There are much better options on the market, probably a more expensive, but still you get what you pay for in this situation. So thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you didn't miss the videos too much. I'm going to try to get back on the schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Things have just been hectic. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already to get notified when new videos come out. We are on the way to 100k and I will see you again next time.